Good morning, Stuart. The Department of Energy is giving Holtec International a $1.5 billion loan for a few reasons. It is cleaner energy, but also with the addition of all these AI data centers, we are going to need more power in the U.S. Take one chat GPT search. It uses 10 times as much power as a normal Google search. And then we have NVIDIA's popular H100 chip that many data centers use. If not, it's probably the most popular. It uses about 10 kilowatts of power. That compared to the other types of processors that we've seen, it's just a sliver. Now, again, this is being recommissioned. So it closed in 2022 here in Michigan, and now Holtec wants to add two small modular reactors to this site. And this could be the first of its kind in North America. SMRs are already being used in Russia and China. These are smaller scale, 300 megawatt reactors. Big names have their eyes on these little guys. Microsoft is tapping into the technology. OpenAI Sam Altman is investing in two different startups that are making a splash in the field as well. And for decades, you know, the United States was at the forefront of being a nuclear power generator. Uh, but there are countries who have done better. Uh, France, for instance, gets about 80% of their power from nuclear energy. So yeah, I think there's an opportunity for us to catch up a little bit. Nuclear energy provides nearly a fifth of the U.S. power generation. It's already our second greatest source of power, and the newest plant to be built from the ground up was done just this past spring in Georgia at $32 billion, provided quite the sticker shock, Stuart. See that? Quite the sticker shock indeed. Thank